Man, oh man, oh man, we are excited. There's gonna be so many subplots going on this season, but for you guys that missed it in the trailer, I have the confirmed death. It is in this trailer. I'm gonna show it to you. Then I'm gonna show you the looming plot, which is another death potentially or a kidnapping that I feel is gonna flip Ghost and Tariq and Tommy to being friends again. Let's do it. But I put on my plus seven glasses a power trailer review and sexy as hell. I brought my wife to help me out again. Y'all can follow her on YouTube too. She's a kidney doctor. She has a channel, it's in my link. And the best way to navigate my channel, go to the homepage, go through the playlist, subscribe, and let's do it. The person who I think is gonna die and is confirmed in this trailer, take a look at this graphic on the screen. Honey, you know who that is? That is Donovan the cop that's been helping Angela on this computer screen. That N-word dead. He dead like 50 Cent would say it. And you see his superior is upset. And what are the events that led him up to dying? Now you know these type of shows are always have, maybe not the main characters, but someone died that you might have a little bit of rapport with. I don't think anybody cared about Donovan dying, but that is him on that screen, he's dead. That's the confirmed death I wanted to show you guys. Now the next death or kidnapping, you see the picture of this house? You see the shooting going on in this house? That is Kate Egan's house. Either someone shot her and killed her or someone shot up the house and kidnapped her to send a message to Tommy. And that leads to this next frame where you see Ghost having what we think is a hallucination talking to Angela saying, I didn't kill her, Angie. I didn't kill her. You will. I didn't kill her. And then you see him getting arrested. Somebody done something to Kate Egan. And I don't think it was Ghost. If anything, I think that this is gonna be the moment where we see Ghost, Tariq, and Tommy come back together because they got love for the mom, especially Ghost and Tommy. But someone has done something to his mom and it's just gonna come down to, is it the Serbians? Is it the Italians? Did Tariq do something crazy? We don't know until we get this season cracking. Then we're gonna go to the next story development. Blanca Rodriguez. You see her standing here with Tasha. You remember Blanca? Yeah, I remember Blanca. You remember who she was trying to get? Angela. She want Angela bad, but Angela is shot up in the hospital. We don't know if she's dead or alive. A lot of us are thinking Angela is gonna die this season. But seeing Blanca Rodriguez, who is supposed to be the specialist for internal affairs, leads me to believe that somehow or another Angela is still hanging on. And she's going to put pressure on Tasha to possibly flip on Angela. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, it's interesting that they only showed one clip of Angela. So I'm still not convinced that, you know, I don't know if she's alive or, or what they're doing with her. Mm -hmm. And in all honesty, that clip they showed was a hallucination because, you know, when Ghost gets stressed out, he hallucinates. And that clip was the red dress she wore from season one. So that's what I think is going on with Blanca Rodriguez. Blanca Rodriguez lets us know that Angela, in my opinion, is still alive. So why is why is um, Tommy still running around? So if everybody know that Tommy killed Ghost, I mean killed Angela, or shot Angela, why is he Who, still running the streets? Who's everybody that know? The only people that know that is Tommy and Angela. I mean, Ghost and Angela. So they never said anything about it. No, why well, So they covered up that whole why, why would why would, why would Ghost go say something on Tommy when Tommy got as much dirt on Ghost? But wouldn't Angela say something? Probably not because he got dirt on Angela too. Huh. <laughs> when you lay in bed with snakes, they all got a chance to bite you. Next character development I want to talk about is 2-Bit. You see the graphic of 2-Bit on the screen. Now, I don't know what they're gonna do with him, but they're gonna do something with him because guess who he's dating? He's dating Courtney Kemp in real life. And you know, goodness well, she ain't gonna write her man out the story. Would you Wait. write me out the story? Next character we're gonna discuss in this frame is Keisha. Keisha has this famous line where she says, We're done with ghosts. I'm done with ghosts. And Tommy is riding with her. Where is that taking Keisha? Is she also then therefore done with Tasha? What do you think? I mean, if she riding with Tommy, she gotta be done with Tasha. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, because um, Tasha not, didn't necessarily do her dirty, but Tasha just kind of kicked her to the side and was using her. But it could be safe to assume that Tasha is also not helping Ghost and she could be trying to get some get back on Ghost. Yeah, that's you know? true. 
But at the end of the day, there's gonna be something, because this show has been good about having all these betrayals and something brings them together, whether they are criminally connected, family connected, something is gonna have to bring that family back together and we can only watch and see what happens. What are your theory? What could possibly bring them all back together? And that's if they come back together. If the whole trailer is setting it up like Tommy and Tariq are going to be on teams right. against ghosts. ghosts. Like everybody's turning everybody's back on ghosts. ghosts against ghosts, but we know that can't be the case. And mm -hmm. the thing that's going to upset that is whatever happens to Kate Egan. That could be the flipper. That could be the thing that twists the story back to help everybody come together mm -hmm. if she's either dead or somehow another kidnapped. And so that is the things that we think you missed in the trailer. I'm probably going to do another video next week, so please leave me your comments on all your fan theories, everything you think that could have happened, and let us know what's going to happen for Power Season 6. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself a life gang. You excited? I'm ready. We less than a month away. Well, no, we're not. We're a month and about five days away from power. I'll keep bringing you guys theory stories to get you ready, to get you pumped, and to keep you entertained until that week comes. And until the next Sex is Hell video, we'll see you.